back to our channel, She Said. He Said. I'm Rasha. And I'm Jay. Jay, please let them know what the channel is all about. On the channel, we talk about relationship topics and we give our views and opinions from a woman and a man's perspective. So if this is your first time, please consider subscribing. And if you guys are returning, we thank you for your support. Yes, thank you as always. So, I mean, I have like this dude over here to my right. You know, I'm trying to figure out who is this that you, you brought up there. Special guest. <laughs> We got a special guest <laughs> on today's episode. This yeah. is Duke, you know what I'm saying? From Savannah, Georgia. You know, um, hang with hang my brother, my family. You know, we'll be having a good time. Uh, except for this one, yeah. But um, everything's good. <laughs> yeah. 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 We have that you know, relationship, yo. See? That's the type of relationship <laughs> they have. He wasn't, he wasn't ready for that. I know I felt, I felt it. I felt the wind. <laughs> I felt the wind, yo. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so my brother's in town. We actually went to Destin, like we were telling y'all. We went to Destin. Uh, we went there for how many days? Five nights. Five. five six, six days, five nights. Yeah, five, five. I think it was five nights. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Five or six, something like that. It was five nights, yeah. Five or six, something, like something like that. And uh, have fun at Destin, and we came here. He came back with us, so he's been here. What do we got back? Uh, Wednesday, I think, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he's leaving to go back tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so spent a few days here and back home in Texas. So And our just supposed to be doing a vlog. And we will be doing a vlog. We wanted to go ahead and get up a video and, and just get something out to you guys. It's going to take me a second. I'm going to try to go ahead and just work it on that over the weekend for the vlog for Destin. Really, I wanted to try to still put together a vlog for uh, Punta Cana when we went to the DR as well. But actually, that one, I didn't really have as many videos. You know why? Because he wants any excuse to go back. Yeah, That's I need an excuse to go about. back, so I didn't record as much. So that I have to go back and redo it. So, you know, it was all... Yeah, he, he was, it was my plan. It was his plan from the very beginning. Yeah. But let me give you all a disclaimer, though. For both of these videos... Um, Especially the the, the Destin one that I'm going to try to get up this weekend. I keep forgetting because every time you record for, you know, when you record for YouTube, your phone has to be horizontal. Um, otherwise, you will see those two black things on the side that you just see just in the middle whenever you're watching the video. These two. Oh, oh. <laughs> Never mind now. Okay, but, yeah, <laughs> but anyway, right, so right. when you record, so it has to be horizontal. Well, I'm just so used to filming, you know, with the, holding the phone like this, easier. And every time we do like vlog stuff on the road, I forget to turn the camera this way. So I remember like the day or two before we actually left. So anyway, just disclaimer: when I put the video together, some of it may be like the normal, and then part of it may be where you see two black screens on either side of the video so anyway sorry about that but i hope y'all enjoy it though okay. and let's get right into the topic for today so what's the topic for today you tell them so <laughs> we got we've been talking about this so the topic for today is about food right what about because food? it's always an issue every single time that we talk about what we're going to eat whether it's lunch dinner breakfast it does not matter there is currently four of us that live in the house, two, our two youngest daughters, me and Rasha. But every single time, hey, what are you going to eat? What do you say? You say whatever. Hmm? I don't right. even think they can hear you. I say whatever. You say whatever. She says whatever, knowing that it's not whatever because she has to have a taste for something. Is that not correct? Have, did you experience that at all? Put me on the spot. You're here. That's what you're here for. No, we here to get his experience. No, did you experience me being how he's trying to set me up as picky and I gotta have a certain taste? Did you ever hear me say that? Uh, for the sake of peace, no. <laughs> no, for the sake of <laughs> oh, honesty. Oh, okay, okay. No, did you no, ever hear me say that? that? No, it was that bad. Yes, it was. I didn't really even say too much. Where you she knows on That's a what daily, I said. But she knows on a daily basis it's always like that. No, Cause, this, cause, this, no, because he'll try to make it like I'm picky because basically he wants me to make a decision. But because I don't want to make a decision, then it's, you know, oh, 
like, you know, either you know that if I say this, then you're going to want something else, or, or you're not going to want that. Did I say that? Did I say that? No, but she is picky, though. Because anytime you ask, well, what do you want? I don't know what I want. Okay, you want pizza? No, I don't want that. But if you have to you ask me chicken? what I want, I want does that. that mean that you don't know what you want? I ask what she wants because when it comes to me, I really don't care for the most part. I actually will keep it simple. There's a place here in Texas called Pollo Loco. They have grilled chicken, rice beans. I'm going to eat that pretty basically just like every day. And then tell but them I what know you that do. they don't want that. But then tell them what you do. What? Because he thinks that we have to, if we're eating out, you don't necessarily have to eat at the same place that someone else does. He tries to base his decision on what me and the kids have going on. Get what you want to get. Because most of the time we're using DoorDash anyway. So it's not like you're going out to physically go get it. So just use the DoorDash. But does anybody want to go to that many places though? He know, Duke know, how many times you call me, he said, what are you doing? Oh man, I'm heading over here. I gotta go to. Uh, he's making his rounds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how, how many places? Uh, about three or four. Yeah, at least. You um, know, I gotta stop by Wendy's. Gotta stop by Zaxby's. Gotta go to Pollo. Need to go to Sonic. Need to stop by the, you know, the Chinese spot. I gotta do this, this, that. Which poses an interesting question. So I mean, like, do you think like families should still nowadays just like just cook at the house and be like, okay, this is what we eat? You know what I'm saying? Everybody eat the same thing. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to eat it, you know what I'm saying? Go hungry. That's what our parents. I mean, yeah, that's, that's right? old school. That's old school. But I mean, it's, 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 it's new, the new but, times. But that's what we all you know grew up on, yeah. right? You know, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I would thing, right? mm -hmm. I wouldn't say necessarily say that was, that was right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I think made, it was. made a lot of things a lot easier. It did make things right like, because if they cooked for you, then they cooked. Yeah. So and if you didn't eat, yeah. then you just didn't eat. That was right. your choice, right? So. You know. But I mean, but think about how long ago you, you may have heard him say, oh, I'm going to make my rounds, but how long ago has that really been? Because most of the time, the youngest two, I say to them, hey, you all need to pick a spot. Which spot do you want to get from? They order from one spot. So that's two at one. Then normally I say, well, depending on the kids, then I'll get that over. Depending on you, I'll figure out something. Do I not say that? I'll figure out something. Just wherever, wherever just tell me where you want to go. I'll figure out something. You do and, and then you're still, something. but then you're still persistent in what? Well, I mean, but you know, just tell me what you want to eat. What do you, you know? Da, 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 da. But if I already said this is what I'm gonna do, why can't you just go with that? You're trying to make it more difficult than what it has to be. No, I really, I'm not trying to make it more difficult because I don't like difficult. Okay, so you don't I like try. difficult. What no. about what about when I say go ahead and order your food? I'm not really ready to order right now because I gotta really think about what I want. Because I don't want to have polio two or three days in a row like he does. That's his thing. That's not me. But then I say, okay, then you say, well, see, that's what I'm talking about. Because then you, you order something else, and then I might want that. What does that have to do with what you wanted? Eat what you want. It's got a lot to do with it. If you eat polio, I don't feel obligated to eat polio. Why do you feel obligated to eat from where I want to eat it? Because I might want it. This is the reason why. I can sit there and eat polio, right? But yeah, I, eventually, I guess at some point, you eat the same thing day in and day out. You eventually get tired of wanting something different at some point. But for the most part, I can eat it every every single day and it keeps it simple. It's grilled chicken, it's rice and beans, it's very easy, right? But I do like to eat other stuff. So I like, you know, other things. And so when Rasha orders something, she might want something from like, oh, I got something from Chili's, or I got something from the Cajun spot, or I got this, or whatever it might be. So I might, oh yeah, that sounds good. I'll go ahead and get that. So that's why I asked. But then think of that on your own. Don't wait on me to make a decision, and then then you want to make your decision based off of that. Whatever you're gonna eat, just eat it. But see, I could go and say I'm gonna get the Cajun spot today, and she'll still go with something else. Cause I want she'll go with Olive Garden. Cause I want something else. But what I does that just, have to do with what, what you're Cause I'd rather combine it mouth. together, and let's just do, especially if we door dashing it, right? right? That's 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 two charges, mm -hmm. or maybe three, cause the kids want this. And she tell me to get what I want, so I got this, and then she decided to go with something else. No. And I can just get most, something from where you want to get something. Most times, if it's different DoorDash orders, then I, what do I say? I'll find something in the house. How many times have I said that? A couple. It's not. A... Anyway, so in oh. your experiences, <laughs> in your relationships, have you, have you had the same issue? Uh, yeah. Oh Let's my tell God. Us about it. Tell us about it. Oh my God, my ex-wife. Oh my God, she used to ask me. I, you know, I used to ask her, you know, what do you want?
want to eat? And then she would be like, I don't know. And then like, I start suggesting things. And she starts getting mad because I'm suggesting them. But maybe because she was just crazy at the time, I don't know. But uh, um, it was just, it was just, it was just a whole well, Why did she get upset? Because she didn't, you were giving her too many options? To tell you the truth, I I still don't understand what happened in that marriage. So I mean, I'm not a good relationship person, though. Um, well, okay, but what do I mean? Do you find that even if it's not your relationship, do you find that this is a common issue? Oh yeah, you know, with, men, with men and women. Men and women, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So what do you say? But the it's, it's, like I feel a like you, you came up with a good yeah. one. You said, why not just cook at home? Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, just like you said, I mean, just like you said, yeah. people are busy nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, yo, yeah, it's convenience all the time. You do right. stuff all the time, and then like nobody wants. Um, you don't have time to cook necessarily. So, I mean, and you know, just the DoorDash and all that stuff. Right. It makes things convenient. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the cooking would, you know, that's like an hour out of your day or something like that. Right. An hour, hour and a half. Right. You know, that's, especially with the family. Yeah. So, um, and then, and then before that, you even got you got you got to go buy the food. Buy the food. You know what I'm so you got to go to the grocery store unless you, you like shift or something like that. You know, which we do. Which we do. <laughs> but you, you know, if not, you still got to go buy the food. You know, go grocery shopping, and you, you know what I'm saying. And whether you do it every single day, or you get things for a couple of days, or you get it for the week, you got to do all of that. And then you still got to cook it on top of that. But, but, but isn't it, that it normal does, life? Does, so? does, does, does save money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It does save money. From the door and, and isn't that normal life, though? Yes. Yeah, that's what people do. You go to the grocery store, you get your groceries delivered, and you cook. Or maybe set up, you know what I'm saying, like a couple of days a week. Okay, we're going to cook in the house. You know what I'm well, that's what we and were then, supposed to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, truthfully, that's what we're supposed to be doing, which we're trying to get back to doing. <laughs> and I can't remember, forgive me, but if you're watching, I remember, I know one of you suggested that we do a cooking channel. And I, I thought that was really funny, actually, because we don't even cook. But, no. you know, but I know you said it would be interesting to see us cook or whatever, and I think it would be cool, but it's just like, yeah. you know, because um, you know, cooking channels are cool and stuff like that, right? You know, so we, we have a friend, Vicky, shout out, what's up? He's got a cooking channel, you know, where she cooks. So it's like, it's interesting and cool to watch, but like you said, it's about convenience. And I guess it's really just whatever's conducive to what you do in particular. You know, we work from home, so obviously we can cook more and we need to cook more. But if I had to really think about it for me, and I think I told you this the other day, I think what it was that really got us on that path, that kind of like solidified it, was when we got COVID. Remember? Mm -hmm. In 2021, we got COVID, couldn't leave the house. Yeah, yeah, so we used DoorDash, you know, to have them bring and drop off food at the door, right? And I think after that, that's when they just mm -hmm. we got hooked and just got used to <laughs> yeah, it. And so we just busy with our schedule, right, right, right. And doing different stuff, and you kind of get hooked and was like, "Well, just hey, uh, order some DoorDash or something real quick." You know? I mean, what do you think? I think that's when we got. I mean, I think that's when I think we got that's hooked. When it but you know, I'm a type of person. You have to be real with yourself. So we were actually busier in our day to day patterns with work then more busy then than we are right at this moment True. so i definitely feel like you know we have to have the discipline to go ahead and cook therefore we wouldn't get into these you know well what do you i mean because it's not really an argument we sit there we laugh about it that's just our daily banter like you know you've seen us and that's just part of our daily banter like we yeah. will go back and forth with stuff all day but it's it's all in love and we just keep it moving but we wouldn't even have that and like like duke said we would say a boatload of money. <laughs> so, so, because I mean, when you think about it, even if, when, if you're going to pick it up, you know, it's still more money on one single meal eating out than you could basically buy like two meals, two or three meals from the grocery store and spend the same amount right. of money, you know, that you're spending out. And then especially DoorDash because they're adding all those charges and we use DoorDash like way too much. So, yeah, because you're paying, I mean, you're paying for convenience is what you're paying for, bottom line with that. So it's best to. Money wise, just go to the grocery store, get what you need to get, mm -hmm. you know. Or in our case, we do use ship for that, mm -hmm. you know. But, um, I mean, because the thing is, we've actually gotten meats and stuff, and we loaded it up. He even bought a deep freezer that's in our garage because we had so many meats, so we have food <laughs> to, take, yeah. to take out and cook. And you know, but it's just like, like you said, it's, it's convenience, but I think we've gotten to a point where, you know, like I said, we've gotten addicted, so to speak, or, or it's 
become the norm for us. I don't want to say that we, it's become the norm for us now, you know, and it's like we have to get back to, hey, let's actually take food out. Let's cook a meal right. more. You know, I'm not saying every single day because we still do lead busy lives, but, you know, more than what we're doing. And I think that solves the issue of, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You know what I'm saying? So You hear that, DoorDash people? <laughs> Deliver to this location, you'll get rich. I don't know. Just how much money they made. I know. Oh we, we need, does anybody want to be our personal Just chef? Personal. That's what we need. We yes. need a personal yeah, door and, and that's what we said. Chef. We said that we would actually take our grocery money and give it to a personal chef. Because we, we could. one, you're going to cook, they're going to cook meals that we want, which are healthier meals. Right. You know, and what do you think about that? Can you can you come be a personal chef? Because let me tell you what, yeah. what he got down on the grill. Like, he got down on the grill. And he cooked that food. He cooked that steak just the way I like it too. Yeah, and the chicken. Night. So cook the chicken. I think I'm gonna need the to chicken. hire him uh, to come. Steak, right, chicken. Right. <laughs> I like to come on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, so we gotta pay for that. Too, so we gotta take into account the flight. We gotta fly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, y'all, y'all the <laughs> that will take too long. I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. You just get here. Yes, yeah, oh, no, but I mean, seriously, um, I mean, I feel like this is a common theme in, in a lot of relationships. I think we've said this before. People posted that. Yes, it this, is a common theme. This is like a, <laughs> a, a relationship breaker in, 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 you know. I guess Thankfully, can. we make through it, but I've seen people that, this will turn into some full-fledged arguments, man. Yeah, I believe people it. be sleeping on couches over trying to figure out what the food is, what we're going to have. Right. Well, I want tacos. Well, I don't feel like tacos. With pizza. What, is, what you want to eat? What is it? You turn into a full fledged argument. And next thing you know, you bringing up stuff from eight years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's what and I'm talking about. Trying to do Remember was, that time when? Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. All we want to do, I just want to go eat some tacos, man. That's it. That's you it. know what I'm saying? Mm. But I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm like you, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm simple, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, if you say you want to eat to a certain place, I'd be like, okay, fine. I'll find something. I'll find something for me. I'll find something for where you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, don't, I don't have to do it. I think you're giving him some credit. Though. Oh, okay. Maybe I do. Because but. he doesn't say that. Like, I can bring up something, and, and he'll say, I'm the picky one. No, sir. I can bring him a place. And I'm like, you want da da da? No, I don't want that because, you know, I'm trying to stay away from da 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 da. Okay. Yeah, if it's certain stuff. I mean, if it's if it's certain and it's all it's got is fried stuff on the menu and fancy stuff. There is there is no place that has just come. Well, I'm not gonna. Say, the places that we frequent, there they are options, and there might not be a lot of options on certain menus of healthier choices, but of what you're looking for. But there are options. But you just you and I because I even have actually said Chili's, and you have a meal that you get from Chili's that's low fat. And I, I it's been a time where I said Chili's, and I don't want that. Okay. Well, yeah, because sometimes you do get tired of, of of whatever. You know what I'm saying? But there's been times but, that you said that on a regular, and I and I'd be like, okay, that's what I'm saying. Pick where you want to eat. Yeah. So you, he's not as just low key and simple as he's trying to make it out to be. Like, don't let him fool you. <laughs> Ain't no fooling. Well, I mean, what do y'all think? I mean, you know. Well, There's a hot topic here. <laughs> you know, a hot topic. <laughs> you know. Yeah, tell us what you think. Tell us your experiences. Tell us how you, you would resolve it. What's the solution um, outside of cooking more at home? Because I think we know probably between the three of us that probably is a great solution. So besides that, uh, yeah. what would you suggest? Yeah, like what type of things would y'all suggest that we do? To resolve that conflict. I would love to hear the feedback on this. One. I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would definitely go. Yeah. Yeah, like what do we in. what do we do? What do y'all do? Who who else is in the same position as us always using DoorDash or some other, you know, Uber Eats or something to order our food? Or at least going and, and picking it up, you know what I'm saying? Or you're eating out a lot. And then in your relationship, is it you or is it your partner? That's that, you know, is the one that's always like, I don't know, what should we do? Who, which one is it? Who, who would you say is the, the one that's kind of like, I know what I want, or I, I'm more flexible, I can get wherever, versus the person that's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want that either. Is it you? So let us know. And who influences who? <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think we all know the question, the answer to that question, you know what I'm saying? Females, you know what I'm saying? See, see, see. Shot is fired. Got to, got, got your brother with you, that y'all. So we go double team this. No. They don't want, they don't want to do it. Now we don't actually. actually. See, he get the lead tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? 
So. <laughs> y'all, y'all remember Rashida? Remember I told you all about that a long time ago about Rashida? They don't want Rashida. No, no. I heard, I heard about her. <laughs> I heard about her. I heard about her. No parts of that. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, but who's the picky one? Are you the picky one? Is it your spouse? You know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You know, who is the picky one? Mm-hmm. Or, or are you both picky? Yeah. Oh. Wow. What oh, wow. You're both picky. And is it not just y'all? How do you get to that? Or is it not just y'all? But you're like us, and you have kids, and your kids is picky too. Oh my goodness. Because our kids is picky. Well, then yeah, and then it gets they, to the point where we're just like, you're gonna either have this they, or you're not. Or yeah. go, go get a bowl of cereal. Because they're picky. <laughs> I'm and not ashamed to say that. Because of us, obviously, they're spoiled. So they're picky and spoiled. So they're spicky. Oh. You know. <laughs> so, you know like what I'm saying? I like that. <laughs> but they are. Because we can't keep up. Put that on the picky. We can't keep up with what they want. Cause because it changes day to day. It, it, seriously, day to day. One day they like hamburgers. The next day they don't like hamburgers. Some, some days they like fries. And then the next they don't. They like pizza, but they don't like this certain topping that they used to get before. Well, maybe y'all should. I was thinking about this. Maybe get bored. Get bored. You know what I'm saying? Like right. you know, you know, um, when it comes to, like certain time, you know what I'm saying, supper or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Put up what you want. You know what I'm saying? So that way, you know, they put up exactly what you want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By four o'clock, put your stuff up there for that day. For that day, if, you're, if it's not up there, you know what I'm saying? You eat what I mean. You know what right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I would simplify things. You know, okay, yeah. You know, I want, I want uh, what a burger, or I want the uh, you know, Chinese place. You know, get this and that. You know, what I'm saying, and make it easy on you. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying, because you'd be like, okay, I got the list. And, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. Screenshot the list. Like, okay, I'm gonna hit this and you know these spots. Be a lot easier on you. And we might have to do both because we need to cook more stuff at home. Uh-huh. So, like the first, like option one, what do you want at the house? Okay. Option two. Outside of the house, just in case of stuff, you know, in case of we don't cook, right, right. you know, in case of, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? I'm interested actually, to see how y'all you know, resolve this. I've actually cooked two different meals. You know, remember I've done that on occasions where I've cooked the meal yeah. for us and I've cooked the meal for them. But that gets tiring. That's why sometimes it's just be like, what? Do you, let me just order something because you know. And like you said, it comes from you know spoiling the kids. But then that, that's when I get to the point where I'm just like. You know, I'm not cooking two meals. You're going to eat either what is in here or you got a bowl of cereal. You got some frozen corn. You got something that you can figure out if, if you don't want to eat this. Because this is what I cooked. So, either eat or don't. And she brings up a good point because I've been saying this the last, I don't know, a couple times I done cooked. Every single time I cook, the kids don't eat it for some reason. He said that. What? I said, yeah, you said that. But they don't eat it though. You eat, I eat, but they don't eat. And it's not because they don't like it or, you know what I'm saying, right. it's unedible or something like that, you know? It's that spicy. They just don't, and I, I don't know. It's that spicy. It's spicky. Hey, well, then that's when they get a bowl of cereal, they get some fruit, or they get something. Yeah, because Cheyenne will eat corn. And we have, yeah, all day. All day. We long. just keep bags of frozen corn. <laughs> she will heat that up, put it in a bowl, and eat a bag of corn. Yes. And I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I had corn. But then you get to the point where you got to give your kids a more well rounded like nutritional you meal, so you need right, more right. than that. So, you know, and then and then Faith is the one where it's, you know, I don't want, I'm, today I don't like this, but I don't want to know. I already had a Faith, if you don't get in there, and find something. Yep. That's how she is. <laughs> Aren't you, Faith? Sure. See? <laughs> you should come tell them, oh, Miss Picky. Man. No, but we have to wrap this up. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> come here, come here, Spiky. Come here, Spiky. Watch the camera, Spiky. Come on. Come on. Here she is. This, this, that, that, that's, 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 Spiky Pooh. Is that Spiky number one? Spiky number one. That's no, Spiky. No. No, you, you Spiky number one. You're, you're the, the most, most picky and spoiled, yes. Yeah. But isn't Shine like older than me? But you're the most picky and spoiled. Yep. Okay. Spicky. <laughs> we just some shirts made. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, we have to uh, wrap this up. Yep. So before we go, girl, can you sit over there? Okay. Sit the, sit the, uh... okay. Bye, okay. Spicky. Bye, Spicky. Before we go, hey, 
Liquid Burns, I just wanted to shout her out. Uh, I got two of these. Liquid Burns Beard Oil. Got all kind of stuff in it. Castor Oil, Jojobo. I don't even know if I said that right. All kind of... Jojoba. Uh, yeah. Jojoba? Yeah. Apricot Oil, Vitamin E, all kind of stuff. Anyway, I got two different ones of these. Smells good. Throw it on the beard. But anyway, shout out to Liquid Burns. We appreciate you. Love you. So anyway, make sure y'all comment, like, share the video, run and tell your friends, run and tell that, all that good stuff. Yep, and as always, believe in love, believe in yourself, and believe in each other. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Speak easy.